I don't feel like they have enough damage against a Tom Kench Heimerdinger. Like, body slam forward, devour the Heimerdinger, and you just get shot by turrets if they are up. So it, it does give you a lot of options for team fights later on and for roam yes. potential as well. You can see Yankos on the crux. Odo Wamnay can come and react very quickly to oh, this. Oh, Niski's Yankos coming too. Jumped up. Niski's on his way. Yankos needs to try and flash away. Teleport coming in. Niski's going to land the vision of Empire. And that is first blood to splice. Uh, gank is coming. Pretty easy gank here for Yankos as well. Odo Wamnay doesn't have a flash. And we'll land this might Get the kill. Oh, he's top again, guys. I wonder why he's top lane. It's as if ganking Amundo can work out well for you. And we talked about getting Wonder ahead on this Jarvan, one of your main tools of engage. Gonna jump oh. in with the Cataclysm Odo Wamne, not six yet. So much damage going out from the threaded volley. And G2 once again execute towards the top lane. Xerxes is here towards the top side to try and stop G2 from doing anything. Ah, here's Yankos here. again. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Yankos is on his way. Has the Weaver's Wall as well. Xerxes is higher level than Odo at the moment and will now steal his experience as well. Not good for him. Teleport coming in oh, from Xerxes as well. G2, there's the TP. No! This is great Odo stuff Amne! from G2. Odo no! Amne dead once again. Tower will fall and Xerxes is in no man's land. Once again, G2 come up towards the top lane and get two kills. Playing this Talia up towards that top side, all about Wonder as oh, well. Once lane. again, that's the matchup we're going to see. Top and jungle all here at the same time. And Xerxes gets caught in the cataclysm, taken out. The Weavers will catch out oh. Odo. Realm Warp in. Odo flashes, but I don't know if G2 are going to let him get away. They will. Level 5 no longer. He's been able to scale up a little bit. We did with the Ghost in. Gets a level up off the minions. Looking for a bit of a gobble oh, here. No. On to Odo. We'll Leave him alone! Him back into the stun, into the knockup. Goodbye, Odo. Hyanan with the final blow. Oh, he's coming mid. So Niski needs to get out of here if he can. Flashes across the wall, but Jankos is there to meet him. The waiting arms of the Polish jungler. Jankos gets another kill for himself. Niski. No flash on his side. Weaver's Wall is actually going to separate him. He's pulled down straight away. There's going to be a big fight here in the top lane. Niski down straight away. Odo Wamne joins the fight. We did knock back into the Cataclysm. Wonder there as well in the midst of it all. And G2 able just to kite back from the tower as much as they need. See, Yanko's one of the main threats here for G2. Already finished that Morello and the Runic Echoes. Wonder oh, going towards no. me. Kasing does not find the engage he wants. Goes oh, golden. Stop watches. But uh, yeah, he is oh, no, pretty, no. pretty darn dead to fish here. That is a tilter from Kasing. For any team at the 20 minute mark was 8,291. That has been surpassed by G2. 9,425 gold ahead in this game at 20 minutes, and they're looking to make it a little bit more. Herx is being ganked, as you say, off towards the top side. Xerxes there, but Tom Ketch gonna come straight away, and Niski goes golden, but not even in his ultimate. He will fall, which is a very positive thing for him. Xerxes, though, will go down once again. We did gets the kill on the trundle. Both Nexus Towers fall, and it looks like G2 are well on their way back to their winning ways here. They're gonna go eight and three against Splice. Great game from G2. It looked easy, but they still had to execute a lot with their...